Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Spicy Burrito Channel and our Let's Struggle Through Skyrim playthrough. This lovely specimen right here is Hooters McBoobs, and I am your humble host, The Burrito. And there is somebody on top of Fort Greenwall. Oh, those are guards. Last we left off, um, don't mind me, I'm just uh, fumble-mouthing it here. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Last we left off was outside Fort Greenwall. Uh, we took it back for the Stormcloaks or whatever. I don't know. We cleared it. I, off camera, went out and sold a bunch of stuff, and I bought a couple of things. I figured we got 30,000 gold. We might as well spend it. So let's take a look at what um, I bought. I bought a Dwarven Boots of Flame Suppression. So that's going to help uh, fire resistance in their Dwarven Boots. I want to eventually get all the way over to Dwarven Armor. I know Arkish armor statistically is probably better, but I I like Dwarven armor and it's the next step in progression. So um, it goes steel, well it goes leather or whatever, steel, Dwarven, Orkish, and then you get into Ebony and Daedric and Dragon, I believe, as far as the heavy armor goes. Anyways, I bought those. I also bought these gauntlets because we didn't even have Orkish gauntlets, um, stolen Orkish gauntlets. We were still on steel gauntlets. So these are much better than what we were using. Plus, they make our creative potions 20% more powerful. I also bought this necklace of alchemy to make potions 17% more powerful. So that's 37% between the two if we wear them both. And I plan on brewing some potions, so I grabbed 20 death bell, 20 garlic, and 20 salt pile. I believe that's about it. And we still have 26,000 gold, pretty much. Last we left off... We were heading north towards Kynesgrove to meet up with the main quest line, Delphine. So without further ado, let's get our asses on the move. Whew, that was a hell of an introduction. Those get longer and longer every time. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, um, shit, oh well, I'll say it now. Uh, Who Turks McBoobs is on her never-ending quest to become the greatest one-handed warrior orc in all of Skyrim and also the greatest chef in all of Skyrim. There's something else she wants to do, but I lost it in the old great uh, deletion of 2021. <laughs> the great deletion of 2021. So we are heading the wrong way, aren't we? We need to head north. Oh, apparently when I fast traveled back here, uh, they put me on the other side of Fort Greenwell. So, oh well. We just got to walk through it real quick. I never noticed that the storm clothes so quickly take over this place after you clear it. So they're good guys, at least for now, and until we join the Imperials. Because, like I said in, I think, episode one, no one ever joins the Imperials. Every fucking uh, playthrough I watch on, on YouTube, these fucking turds are always like, No, they're fascists. They're blah, 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 blah. I don't want to join the cops and the loyal Imperials. And I'm like, oh, fuck you. Someone do it. Someone have the balls. So I have the balls, I tell you. And so does Hoot Turds with her mismatched armor there. Look, she's got... Uh, dwarven gauntlets, <laughs> dwarven boots, and then orcish armor. But she don't care. You know, the ass end flap, that always opens up to get um, a dick in her butt. So that's all she cares about. Do I hear wolves? I hear wolves. Why am I scared of wolves? Yeah! The only reason I'm scared of wolves, I'm not really scared of them, but the only reason they piss me off is because of, uh, oh, she took quick work of them. Um, they give you diseases. I hate that. Hmm. And on that note, let's go. Um, we're coming up on a town here. I would act like I don't know what town it is, but it is Shore Stone. <laughs> And that's not by memory. That's because of the great deletion of 2021. Look back a couple episodes. I, I explain what the great deletion of 2021 is. Basically, I accidentally deleted fucking seven or eight episodes. So I'm redoing them all. In fact, this is my sixth episode today. I've wasted. I've been at it since 730 in the morning. It is now 330 in the afternoon. Okay, Shorestone. So my voice is going to give up here any moment now. Um... All right, flame girl, that's enough out of you. Let's talk to this dude. I hope you haven't arrived here looking for work in the mine. Uh, what's wrong with the mine? 
It's sure. spiders. That's what's wrong with it. Like I was supposed Almost to know that. Killed Grogmar and me when they showed up. I'm worried that they'll come out of the mine looking for food soon. Then we're in even bigger trouble. Come on, you pussies are that scared of a few fucking spiders? Can't the town guards do something for you? Yeah, they're as useless as a fifth wheel on a wagon. Or tits on Maybe an Argonian. Sort of line about keeping an eye out for enemy soldiers. What's the point in protecting this place if the mine's completely useless? Idiots. Okay, I'll clear them out for you for a price. Tell you what, keep to your word, and I'll line your pockets with as much as I can scrape up. You got yourself a deal there, film jar. <laughs> film I jar. don't want to be responsible for sending you to your death. Uh, don't worry about that. We can take care of ourselves. You're talking to the greatest one-handed warrior in all of Skyrim. Move it, bitch. Might get nervous. Spiders to take care of. Oh, big deal. We're gonna level up conjuration while we're at it. We managed to drag the guard in with us. Huh. He's doing all the dirty work. Take this one by surprise. Oh, I forgot vegetable soup. Of course. Every time I go to do this and it doesn't go all the way through like that, that means I forgot to take on vegetable soup. I've explained that like 30 times now because it happens all the time to me. I always forget to pop some vegetable soup. I need to just tattoo it on my fucking forehead. Pop vegetable soup before every door you open. Can I get this shovel out of the way? What's in the knapsack? Oh, what's in the knapsack? I did buy a few potions. We're running low on healing potions because my dumbass... Um, we're going to mine this shit, by the way. Okay. Um, I'm going to edit those down. So I'm going to not probably talk while I'm doing this. In case I say something funny or important, which was probably likely not to happen, but you never know. All right. Yeah, and ebony ore will make ebony armor down the road. It's very valuable. And now that I know how to edit those really quick and easy, um, I'm probably going to mine more often. Knowing that I can just cut it right out. Might as well grab the frostbite venoms. They're uh, not worth much, but they sell. I mean, um, that's it. I've been here before. There's nothing over there, and there's nothing over there. Even if you do whirlwind sprint, there's like a potion or something. So fuck it. That's the beauty of playing this over again. About you and your honeyed words. <laughs> My honeyed words. Let's go uh, tell this guy we cleared out the old mine. Not the spiders put you through the ringer. Uh, not really. I cleared them out. Gone? Every one of them? Why, that's incredible. Finally, we can reopen the mine and put Shore Stone back on the map. This Here, dump? Please accept this gift as a token of our gratitude. 750. That is not Don't too shabby. Yourself. Stone runs in our blood. So. Oh, yeah, and in the process, uh, in between episodes, I sold off so much and bought so much that we leveled up. So let's go ahead and do that. I like to do that on camera so you guys can see it. Um, hmm. Health. Boom. What has been leveling us up? Heavy armor? No. Block? Ah, oh, the power bash is looking pretty good right about now. I know we don't qualify anything in one-handed. So it's either alchemy. Oh, no, there's a restoration I want. And we can't get alchemy three. So that leaves us with restoration. There's a nice little perk regeneration right here. Our healing spells will be 50% more effective. Boom. Bye. Yay. While we're at it, let's break into this guy's house. 
Now, breaking in is illegal, but since we're friends with him, picking his herbs will not be. Not that I care anymore because we've stolen enough stuff. Because we're officially part of the Thieves Guild. So you can't be a thief without stealing stuff, right? As I don't steal that stuff. Oh, this guy has um, some bay leaves, some cilantro, and some garlic, which we desperately need. Um, leeks is garlic potatoes. We might as well grab it. Snowberry. Downstairs he'll have some more cilantro. Cilantro at this point and garlic are the more important than the leaves. We do want to steal his blacksmith potions. Check out what's in this chest. Oh, uh, yeah, we want to take all ten. Why not? That's it. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, I brewed up a shit ton more uh, vegetable soup. I believe we got 40 of them. Okay, there's two townsfolk over there. Got to thinking, maybe I'm the dragonborn. No, and you're not. Trust me, I know from experience. Ah, you showed those spiders a thing or two. Hell yeah. Tell me about Damn the mine. place is filled with this reddish mist. Can't see more than ten feet in front of your face. But when you can sniff out a vein of iron like me, it isn't too much trouble. Huh. <laughs> okay, that's all you got? All right, whatever, dude. May the road favor the foolish. You can sniff my fucking butt. <laughs> Let's break into their house and steal their herbs. Like I said, I need uh, Frost Miriam, or Cilantro, and Garlic. The Elzir is just a... Yikes. Um, okay, I just want to duck to make sure nobody's in here watching me do this. Oh yeah, this is the place with a shit ton of garlic. Look at all that garlic. There's some eggs and cilantro and some bay leaves and some eggs. That book ain't worth nothing. Alright, that's it for this place. One final place across the street. Now, there's supposed to be a woman in that uh, lives here. But I don't see her. And I didn't see her in the mine, so... She might fucking get pissed once we break in here. Oh, yikes. Boing. If only I had the uh, Price is Right sound effect, that would be cool too. That was the worst impersonation of the Price is Right. Womp womp. She in here? No, she's not. 81 gold. Oh, yes. Okay, I, before I broke in here before, and she had a nice enchanted... Two enchanted weapons. It looks like Skyrim's not going to give them to me. I keep fucking hitting the wrong button here. Like I said... We're part of the Thieves Guild. It's all legal. <laughs> what is this? Lots of eggs. I'm going to have to look up a... I'm probably gathering up a ton of eggs. I'm, I'm going to have to look up the recipes and see if there's any egg recipes that are worth it. Salt pile is another important one. Although, after I looted Riften of all their barrels, they got tons of fish barrels. And, man, do we got a lot of fucking salt pile. Okay, that's it. No enchanted. Nothing. What a bummer. Yeah, at this point last time, I, I gotta keep... Stop bringing that up. I mean, it's gone. Let it go. Let it go, burrito. Let it go. It's over with. So, um, let's quick save. Ah, let's head on down the road. On the fucking road again. Who turns my boobs is on the road again. You gotta love walking, right? Oh, there's gonna be a bear around here, I think, soon. We get a fight with a bear. Not a twink, a bear. <laughs> a real big bear, too. Just 
I think there's a book in Skyrim entitled The Twink and the Bear. <laughs> okay, in here we got dead watchtower guys. <laughs> this guy had a random salt pile on him. Nice. Nothing. I think there's a couple potions in here we can grab, though. Oh, there's a note. Ah, uh, we have a word of a band of Legion soldiers advancing on your position. Reinforcements are on the way. Talos guard you. Huh. Too late. Too late. All these fuckers are dead. Arrows. Boo. Come on. Somebody have something, right? Nope. Oh, well. We'll get some experience for picking this. I wish life was like that, because every time I pick my butt, I get a level up. Or pick your nose. I wonder what a level up in life is really like. Like, did you, does your, uh, does your sexual prowess, like, go up a level? Maybe your dick grows an inch. <laughs> Uh, I can't wait to get to level 100. I got a 100-inch dick. All right. What the fuck am I talking about? I wish. I got a 100-inch long boner. That can't happen with my ED flaring up all once in a while. <laughs> I got my EDs flaring up. Erectile dicks function. I got erectile dicks function. My ED. You know when they go limp, when you hit them with uh, Fus Roda, when the bodies go limp, they go flying through the air. That reminds me of my ED. Ooh, we got ourselves a troll. Enough about my ED. Let's go. Hooters is going to help me with that, by the way. She is going to help me with that. Okay, perfect. So she's going to distract them. We're going to cast a couple of swords. And we're going to stay stay the course. <sighs> Keep forgetting vegetable soup. Did we kill him? Oh man, he's getting pelted. Oh, I forgot Troll's heal. We make quite the tag team. Nice. What a tag team we make. Bacon fat. Yeah, Hooters is helping me out. She is leveling up her alchemy. Once she gets to level alchemy 100, she's going to cure ED. That's what she told me. She wants to find the cure for ED. And once she becomes a... Uh, 100 level alchemist she can do that so that's what she's gonna do so add that to her list of stuff she wants to do she is the greatest one-handed warrior orc in all of skyrim she's also the greatest chef or wants to become the greatest chef and she's looking for the cure for ed so enough about penises let's talk about vaginas or let's talk about shit colored caramel corundum and we're gonna mine that up. Alright, that was quick and painless. Ooh, snowberry. Never pass up the snowberries. I'm gonna head to this mine. I know what's in there, but we're gonna do it anyways. And on the way, we're going to grab this Mora Tapanella. Always on the tree stumps. Always look at the tree stumps. They got Mora Tapanella. All right, let's be prepared here. I got a skeever on my tail. Give me that skeever tail, you bitch. Thank you. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but when you're wearing headphones playing this game, you can hear everything. 
I could hear his little worst impersonation of a skeever ever. Ooh, some pump stool. You gotta grab the pump stool. In here, I think. Well, Flame Girl's gonna kill these guys. Last time she killed them way too quick, so. We're gonna do a uh, bound sword to level up a little bit. Pyomp stool. <laughs> Got my conjuration on. Oh, you blocked, you little bitch. Let's get one more. Ooh, that hurt. Let's go ahead and do it again. I think there's one more around. Oh, the rock trap guy. Where are you? You just gonna let me level up conjuration? You what? You sure are. Come on, buddy. Boom. <laughs> and no, that did not fool me the first time. He actually triggered it himself. Dropping rocks on his fucking head. Okay. Okay. We're about to get into a dragon battle. So let's make sure Berserker Rage is charged up and ready to go. We will not need... We will not need uh, Unrelenting Force because that does nothing against dragons. Let's pop a veggie soup. And I'm going to try to use my healing spells um, so I don't waste all our potions. Uh, quick save, and let's do it. She'll be our ranged attack since we no longer have a bow. And the first thing I want to do is shut this uh, word wall up because it's really annoying. Okay, perfect. She's attacking the uh, Atronach. Oh, he's going to take off, so we'll wait. Frost Breath, huh? Oh, is that Life or a Whisper? I can't remember. Oh, it's a Frost Dragon. Come on, land. Land, dickhead. Well, we, we gotta let uh, Hot Tits do her job here. Oh, Canis Root. Nice. Oops. Oh, that was not smart. trying to pick flowers during the fucking pool. Damn it, dude. Oh, can I get to him? Get up there. Get up there. Who turns? Come on. Get up there. Oh, I can't. I can't do it. All right, dude. It's time for you to land and take your take your medicine. Thank you. Got him. Oh, and the badass animation. Look at that fucking badass. Look at that fucking badass. Oh my god. She just took his fucking head for a ride. Alright, let's absorb that dragon soul. Come on, game. We're up against the YouTube time and space here. Hurry up. Oh, that was delicious. All right, dragon bones, dragon scales, garnet, gold. Dragon bones actually uh, make good dragon uh, bone stock there. So that's a cooker, cook, 
tip. Uh, that's an, a chef's tip from Hooters. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have a couple enchanted items. Nice, but nothing we can use. Um, I'm going to grab this Meridia's Beacon. Some bossy-ass bitch is going to speak to us here for about a minute. Uh, we could still do other things while she's talking to us. But, oh, she is a bossy one. And it's going to give us the quest to do her uh, temple or whatever. So, here we go. A new hand touches the, the pussy. Listen, hear, hear me and, and obey. obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Who says? Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreath. And I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Hmm. Interesting. Cleansing light, huh? I just use a douche. Okay, uh, that's it for up here. I just want to check around this corner here. That looked work crazy. Nope. Um, get back up there. Thank you. See? Oh, there's our shit bucket. Uh, we could do a lot while she's talking. Normally, uh, normally players would just sit there and go, what the hell is this? I, I'm just looting and there's another Canis root. Looting away. Picking locks. While Meridi goes on and on about being a cleansing light. Oh, another Canis root. Man, I gotta remember this place. The anus root is strong with this place. Let's get back down to the road. We'll mine this up. We'll mine this one up. I believe that's it. Only two ore veins. No, there's a, there's another one down here. Right here. Yeah, so those mining animations um, take 15 seconds. Somebody on YouTube told me that. Um, 15 seconds... So I just mined up three of them, so that's 45 seconds I can edit out. And don't have to fumble around with the stupid uh, speed-up camera. I just edit it out and do a little nice little uh, fade or whatever transition. So we want to get back down the road. Um, I believe we can make this fall. There's a bunny. We can slaughter it if we want to, but... Oh, Yeah. Okay, I better quick save <laughs> in case I fall to my death. Does that count, by the way, in the struggle meter? If I fall to my death? We just took on a dragon. You think a wolf's gonna scare me? Come on, where is he? There he is. He's just gonna get lit up by her. And then he's gonna run away, which lets us cast this a couple more times, and then we're out, so. Man, he ran far the fuck away. Oh well. Can I get one more? No. <laughs> you scared him off there, uh, hot tits. That's alright. Yep. Okay, heading north. Um, now, when we're going towards Kynes Grove, there's going to be a lot of Dragon's Tongue we can pick. And it won't slow down the walkthrough because it's on the way. It's not like I stop when I pick stuff up. Not usually. So, that's what we're going to do. Lots of Dragon's Tongue.
Okay, we got some Imperials coming up here. We're just going to head north now. We'll leave the road behind. Well, there's a bear down there we're going to take care of. I don't know how clear that comes across on YouTube, but I could see that bear from fucking far away. See him? Looks like a giant turd. The bear. Maybe this is the bear in the twink that I was talking about. Oh man, she's going melee against him. Alright, not fooling around with that. Ouch. How many times did I have to hit him before I did damage? Like, after I Fusro down him, I hit him like four times and he didn't even do any damage. But that's okay. That's to be expected. Did I kick him Berserker Rage, too? I don't remember doing that. I must have. That was dumb of me. I didn't need that, but it helped. Those bears are tough. I need... All right. There we go. Alright, let's back on the road. Let's get Unrelenting Force back up and Vegetable Soup because we waited 24. Starting to learn it. Oh yeah, we're going to go to uh, Legendary Difficulty real soon. Real soon. I'm, start I, I'm starting to reorganize my hotkeys. Things are starting to click a little better. I haven't died in a long time. Although, I don't know how much of that is because I've done all this like twice or three or four or eight times. So, um, next thing we're heading to is that dragon's icon there. Let's go fuck with another dragon. Well, first let's stop here and see what's going on here. Akatosh. Yeah, we'll take it. Phew. Ouch. I hear a dragon. Oh, I'm carrying too much. What did I pick up? Let's find out. I accidentally picked something up. Oh, I wonder if these put me overweight. No, arrows don't weigh anything. Hmm. Hide armor. Let's get rid of that. Okay, we're good. What does Akatosh do? We'll find out. Let's go down to active effects to find that out. Oh, regenerate magicka? Yeah, okay. Hmm. Oh. The dragon out there. Beware, the dragon is near. Hmm. He'll probably spot us and come attack us. There's a bear too. We're in trouble. 
We're in big trouble. Holy shit. Get out of here. Fuck. Come on, dragon. Get the bear. Get the bear, dragon. <laughs> Don't get me. Oh, fuck. Damn. I got bone break, bone break fever from this bitch. Oh, shit. We're dead. Okay. Did the fucking bear die yet? Die. Nope. Okay, he's dead. Oh my god, there's more enemies? Oh, a blood dragon. Wonderful. Let's get Berserker Rage up. Where'd he go? All right, land. Land. Thing. Where is this dragon? Wow, this is a quite the struggle. I'm gonna spend the whole episode trying to kill this fucker. Well, somebody get this boy down. Refresh her. We've got help from a storm cloak. Come on, land. <laughs> this is uh, this is boring now. Oh shit! He's coming right for me. You have to land there, buddy. I can't attack you unless you land. See? Okay, I think he finally landed. No, he didn't. Listen. Boring. Attack her. Whoa. You have to land. I can't hit you without landing. Thank you. Hold on. That was a mistake. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, perfect.
Got him. Jeez. Did he kill that Stormcloak? That's a shame. She did. She helped us out so much with shooting him with arrows and stuff. What, his body dropped to the ground? Now we got quite a decision to make here. I gotta drop some stuff. Oh, 37 pounds worth of stuff. That's gonna be hard to do. That's why we got these potions. Okay, I have 30 seconds to lock in a... Uh, shit. I got 30 seconds to lock in a uh, location. Can I get up to that dragon's mound? Once I lock in a location, I can uh, fast travel and sell. And then come right back. Get me up there. Get me up there. Feet don't fail me now. Okay, got it. Nice. Okay. Now I got time to fast travel to the honey brew meadery. Whew. Wow. Yeah, that was... I, I hate it not having good ranged attacks. Now I'm overweight, but we're going to sell off in here, so. You can't get dragons to uh, fall down, you know, come down to you. It takes forever. So you're just sitting there getting blown by fire and then, Been or ice in that I've case, the and meeting. then healing. What have you got for me today? Nothing illegal. <laughs> no, nothing yeah. illegal. Just a bunch of garbage. Want to put on our selling stuff. <laughs> Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. And he's out. But our carry weight should be nice and okay. Do me a favor if you speak to me. What brings you to White Run? Now, let's uh, level up. That happened at some point. We can do another one into health. Heavy armor. Did we qualify for Juggernauts 3? We sure did. Let's get it. Juicy. Goods to juicy. Did he say juicy goods? <laughs> I got juicy goods. All right. And we could just fast travel right back to Bone Screw Quest like nothing ever happened. We'll go get the word wall in the chest up here. <laughs> and of course. Oh, I dropped my pickaxe. <laughs> Shit. I wonder if there's a pickaxe around here. It doesn't look like it. Gotta grab the dragon stone. What's this one? This one's frost breath, right? Okay, yeah. I got them both confused. The last one was Aura Whisper, which I don't even know what that is. I think that's like a Detect Life spell. Let's see what's in the chest. Dumb, dumb. Dumb. Even dumber. Nothing. Bunch of bullshit. Come on, Skyrim. Where's all that good stuff you were giving me? Before I accidentally deleted everything I did. All my hard work. I think this might be my last episode for the day, though. I am. My neck is getting tired. I got a kink in my neck. Man, there's some good uh, iron ore veins. So let me take a look at the clock here. Uh, 12 minutes. And I can edit a lot of that mining out. What did I want to do? There's a mining town I wanted to go to. And that standing zone. That's where we're headed. I know it's in the opposite direction of Kynes Grove, but I kind of mixed up my plans for this episode. I meant to save that dragon fight for...
for next episode, but we took care of it. We want to head towards that standing stone, and there should be a mining town out there somewhere. Someone's shooting at me. I heard an arrow bounce. I don't got time for that. Oh, Jazz Bay Grape City. And I wish I had my... There's a Corona Moravain. Jazz Bay Grape City. Jazz Bays, they do something else. Um, they also make a, a potion you can sell. Garlic... I believe it's Garlic Jazz Bay and Salt Pile. Or no, it's garlic juniper berries and salt pile. Now we just need to find a bunch of fly amanita. I hear another fucking bear. That's why I hate this part of the world. Atronach stone? What does that do? Absorb a portion of incoming spell damage and have a larger pool of magicka, but it will recover more slowly. No, we still want our lord stone hooked up. I better not hear another fucking dragon. Okay, there's a bear over there. We're not. We're gonna steer clear of that guy. In fact, let's cast out Flame Girl just to keep him distracted. Oh, he, she didn't do a very good job of it. What is going on here? That's why. I don't have my helmet on. I don't have my stendar on. We're gonna kick that in. Wow, it's the companions came to save me. Why are you coming after me? Go after the guy with the two-handed fucking sword. There you go. Jesus. Oh my god. That's it. I'm done with you. Take that. Fucking cocksucker. God damn. This guy's going to town on him and he just keeps running after me. Oh, well, free level up. I hate bears. Bears are the worst enemies in this game because they, they're so tanky. Like, they're so fucking tanky. Where's the mine? Yikes. Watch where you're going there, hot tits. Like, you could wind up and swing your fucking mace as hard as possible, and you'll still do just a tad of damage. This is Dragon... Dark Water Crossing. I almost said Dragon's Bridge. First thing is first. Wheat is for free. And we gotta find a pickaxe. Uh, I'm done picking potatoes. Um, there should be a lady out here. No. Who's this guy? Not now. I'm trying to watch this. Watch what? Huh. Interesting. I need a pickaxe. Is there any laying around out here? Of course. There's plenty of shovels. No pickaxes. You sons of bitches. Sons of bitches. Bumpuses. <laughs> uh, come on. Give me a pickaxe. Thank you. Finally. Excuse me, You're sir. For work? May I have this one? We could use an extra hand in the mine. Annika used to help more with the mining, but nowadays she's a bit of a bout. Wait an hour, get him to fucking stop swinging his hammer. Thank you. Yeah, I did all this off camera last time, so this time I'm going to do it on camera and just edit it out. Oh, heavy armor. I was, oh, that shiv that's what ha Oh, okay. That means we can finally drop this. We just read this book. I, I always thought this was uh, enchanting. I guess it's heavy armor. Yeah, that's crazy. Finally, drop that bitch. I've been saving that because I thought it was enchanting. <laughs> Duh. 
Don't That's not even an our vein, honey. What's your trouble? Dostern telling tales? Not much to it, really. We fish and keep to ourselves. Try to keep from upsetting the Empire or the Stormcloaks. And so far the war's left us alone. Oh, that's I'd better nice. get going. That's very a cool story, bro. We She's hitting that the war a wall that doesn't even have Corundamore in it. Here. it. Buddy, can I uh, have this one? I try to think of it as coaxing the ore. Oh yeah, we want to talk to you. Um, how long have you been working in the mines, dude? This mine is only a few years old, but I've been digging up ore for over a century. We're getting to Damn. the point where the tunnels are getting deep into the rock. People complain of bad coughs and foul air. I've seen this before. We need some medicine. It's called to COVID-19. I was about to send a message to Windhelm for aid. Either that or stop smoking those cigarettes. Um, I could deliver that message for you there, Sandas. Thank you. Take it to Quintus in the white file. The file. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mind. Don't mind me. Hi. I've never seen you around here before. Are you a miner too? Bugger off, kid. Was that it? Oh, one more. All right. Sandus takes care of me when Mom's not around. I keep hearing stories about Morrowind. Sounds like a wretched place. <laughs> Sounds like a dump. <laughs> you know what I'm doing. Come on, guard. Walk past. Look. To the right, don't look to the left. Oh, shit. Can I get hidden here? Come on, they're all facing the other way. So, I guess I can't get it. Oh, because of the little fucking brat. Oh, well, it was worth a shot. What about the corundum they're hiding over here? What is this? A fucking family camp fest? Well, that is a busty broad. Holy jeez. Look at that. Is this some kind of bust? <laughs> wow. Dorkinus Let's talk to her. Diving way down deep in the river. I used to be an adventurer in my day. Crag jumper. Down, got married. Well... First thing, your first problem was you got married. The second problem was you settled down. That's right. I used to explore all over. I'm the one who originally found the mine Darkwater Crossing was built around. A mine. I was actually scouting a bit the other day. Old time's sake. Spied a brigand heading back to his camp. Up for a little hunting? My husband is being a sad stick, so I can't go myself. Wow, it sounds like your husband's a real limp noodle. Yeah, I'll do it. This brings back memories. Come back when you're done, and maybe I'll be up to showing you a few tricks. Well, you better show me some one-handed tricks, Bandits bitch. Cowards. Don't strain yourself oh, she's... chasing them all down. Let's break into the busty broad's house before this guy... Ah, used to help son of a mighty, bitch. But nowadays, she's a bit of a bounder. A bounder. Okay, it ain't gonna work. I'm not gonna bother. It's just like three Frost Miriam. Who cares? Okay, I got just a couple more minutes here, so let's um, get back on the road. What a way to end an episode. Let's mine. <laughs> oh, mine. And don't think I didn't forget about this guy. And wasn't there a Corundamore vein around here somewhere? I don't know. It's fucking dark out. Yeah, it's much better. I could have swore there was a Corunda Morvine. No? Hmm. Must have been seeing things. Heard they're reforming the Dawn's Gods. Vampire hunters. In the old fort near Riften. That's the one I got. Okay. Oh, here's the hired thugs. Oh, this is a good way to end the episode. 
Finally, the hired thugs have caught up. Our life of crime has caught up with us. Hey, buddy. We're here to teach you a lesson. Come on, say it. We're here to teach you a lesson. <laughs> hey, mine. Uh oh, I forgot. Okay, I forgot a bunch of things. There it goes. Uh, vegetable soup, I forgot, as usual. Berserker Rage, I forgot, as usual. How about you? There we go. Take care of this dickhead first. Good job, Frost. Not the most textbook way to take care of the hired thugs. Using your horse. Fuck, the horse did all the work. Enchanted. Nice. Who's got the note? Who turned us in? You've got the note. We'll read that in a second. Yeah, good way to end the episode. I thought I was going to end on mining an ore vein. Where's the last guy? Where did he die? Where did he die? Oh well, fuck him. He don't. He's not gonna have shit. But I foos rolled down him. I thought that's not him, is it? No, that's not him. Here's an iron ore vein. We are gonna end the episode on mining. What a dud. Insert Georgia fans are fucking idiots joke here. Insert your own. Because, like I've reiterated to you 8,000 times, Georgia fans are fucking idiots. Oh, here he is. He had an enchanted fucking thing. Sweet. Cool. Let's get overloaded. Alright. That's about all we can handle. First of all, let's see who turned us in. All right. Grogmar Gro Balsack. That is the dude in Shore Stone. We stole from him? Uh, here's the agreed amount upon. I expect you to faithfully carry out my request to teach a lesson to the thief Hooter Hooters McBoobs. You need to kill her. Oh, you need not kill her. But I have no qualms about it if you deem it necessary. Well, obviously they deemed it necessary. But that's it for the hired thugs. We won't have to worry about them ever again. They only send one set out towards you. One set out against you. And that's it. So. Okay. Man, it's been a long day of video uh, recording. I think this is the last one. Uh, my br uh, my uh, voice is dying quickly. So, I want to thank you all for watching the Let's Struggle Through Skyrim playthrough on the Spicy Burrito channel. <laughs> oh, spit it out there. Spit it out, burrito. Um, this is Who Turts McBoobs, and I am your humble host, the burrito, signing off.